So I normally just do this data dump as some graphs for the UEC community, but I thought it might be fun to do it in a video format. This video will go over the relative performance of units participating in the United European Community event hosted every Friday and Saturday at 8pm CET. In this review, I am including all matches from August through October, excluding any special events like the reenactment or the battalion events. This means I have an upper limit of 48 individual matches in the sample I looked at. I exclude units which do not have enough events in the time period examined to be included, as their inclusion could lead to some funky results due to a low number of observations. I use two main metrics in my analysis. The first is the KD ratio, or the numbers of kills subtracted by the numbers of deaths for a particular side that a unit is participating with. Now this is not a direct observation, but because it is a relatively randomized sample with a mix of units playing with different teams each week, I can observe it a bit better indirectly the more data points I have to arrive at a general idea of where each unit is relative to the others. The second metric is to break down win rate or percentage of wins across games played. I have further broken down this into each of the three main game modes, Conquest, Contention, and Skirmish, and then a combined rating for all three. For the purposes of this video, I will highlight the top performers in each category. Just as a note, this is just a snapshot in time and only two measures for unit performance. They are not a reflection on my opinion one way or the other, or should be taken as the only or even the best way to judge a unit. With that being said, let's get into the rankings, starting with the KD rating. So starting with the number 10 spot, we have the Lee's French Legion with 274 more kills than deaths. Next, we have the 3rd Alabama in 9th place with 331. Next, we have the TKO with 536. In 7th place, we have the 2nd USC with 1160. Next, we have in 6th place, the 6th Texas with 1,932 more kills than deaths. Now with the top five, we have the 52nd New York in the fifth place with 1946. Next, we have the 18th North Carolina in fourth place with 2703. In third place, we have the 56th Virginia with 2908. The runner-up is the AGL with 2997. And the first place, we have the 8th Florida with 3,290 more kills than deaths in the period examined. Moving on to percentage wins per mode, starting out with Conquest, we have in fifth place the German Corps with a 40% win rate for the Conquest mode. Next we have a three-way tie for fourth place. We have the 51st New York, the 56th Virginia, and the 6th Texas, all with a 42% win rate. Next we have in third place the 18th North Carolina with a 43% win rate. Now we have a tie for second with a 50% win rate for both the ANV and the 6AL, also a subordinate of the ANV, or another linked unit there, so they are both at 50%. Finally, the winner for Conquest, we have the top rated unit is the AGL with a 62% win rate. Moving on to contention, starting with fifth place, we actually have a five-way tie, all with a 50% win rate. They are the 20th Georgia the 3rd Alabama, the LFL, the 2nd USC, and the 88th New York. Next in 4th place, we have the Shenandoah Regulars with a 57% win rate. In 3rd place, we have the TKO at 60% win rate for contention. Now, once more, we have a two-way tie for 2nd place, and that is the 36th New York and the 51st New York, or the SB in general at a 64% win rate. And the top rated regiment for contention is once more the 8th Florida here with a 66.6% .6 win rate for contention. Moving on to the skirmish mode, starting out with the 10th place slot, we have once again a uh, five-way split. And at a 50% win rate, we have the TKO, two core, the German core, 6 Texas, and 56 Virginia. Now moving on to the ninth place part, we have the AGL at 52%. In 8th place, we have the SB, or the 51st New York, at 56.5. Next, we have the 2 USC at 58%. In 6th place, we have the 20th Georgia with a 65% win rate. 
Moving into the top five, we first have the ANV at a 66.6% .6 win rate for fifth place. And then the 60, well, I'm sorry, the 6AL um, has actually a 68% win rate to take the fourth place. So slightly higher than the uh, rest of the ANV team there. Moving on to the third place spot, we have the 88th New York with a 69% win rate. They are followed by the 6th New York NYV with a 71% win rate. And in first place, we have the 18th North Carolina with a 72% win rate for the first part, first uh, place spot for Skirmish. Now for the general, all game modes included, we have in the number 10 spot, the third Alabama with a 43.5% win rate. Moving on, we have a three-way tie for ninth. That includes the 56th Virginia, the 6th Texas, and the 8th Florida for a 43.8% win rate. Moving on to the 8th place spot, we have the AGL at 52% flat. Next, for the 7th place, we have the 20th Georgia with 52.1. In 6th place, we have the 6th Alabama with 52.3. Moving into the top 5, we have a 3-way tie for 54% for the ANV, the 2nd USC, and the TKO. Moving into the 4th place spot, we have the 51st New York with 54.4%. In third place, we have the 6 NYV at 55.9%. The runner-up is 18th North Carolina with 57%. And then in first place, we have the 88th New York with 58% win rate across all game modes. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. But for the UEC folks, especially let me know if you prefer my old chart graph method for going over this information and what you thought overall. This is Cocktail. Hope you guys enjoyed and signing off.